Hello ship breaker. This is your morning wake up call. ships. So, I'm going to let her take the lead on this one. <laughs> you give me a hard time, but you know I'm good. Okay, Rush, time for the fun stuff. And by fun, I mean incredibly dangerous. You're in good hands. Take it away, Lou. Okay, first rule. Always scan ahead. Ships can have pockets of pressure anywhere inside them. Let's have a look. Activate your scanner now. Your scanner shows the pressure state of every compartment. Red labels are unpressurized. Green are pressurized. Cut between a red room and a green room, and boom, violent decompression. The correct term is explosive decompression. Explosive, same deal. If we cut this ship now, it pops. Only safely in is through an airlock. If you can't find one, they show up on your scanner, too. Good. Now cycle the airlock. There should be a switch in there. And you're in. From inside, you can safely depressurize with an atmospheric regulator. Should be one nearby. Give it a go. You're a fast learner, or I'm an amazing teacher. Now, sometimes you're gonna have to depressurize a ship violently. Uh, explosively? Explosively. Soon as you hear that warning, grab onto something. Seriously, you don't want to get sucked through a one-inch hull factor. Believe me, it's unpleasant. Sometimes different areas of the ship have their own pressurization system. So remember, Always scan ahead. Now, hey Weaver, why don't you take the rest of the day off and I'll demo my patented reactor rodeo technique. <laughs> nah, that's all right there, Lou. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hot tip. You know all the supplies you can buy at the kiosk? You can actually scrounge a lot of that stuff for free from the ship. Come on now, Lou. You know that's against the rigs. That's just because they want us to spend every penny at the company store. It's also not safe. Nor sanitary. Come on, what? You know how long that stuff's been floating around and all that crime and dust? They're vacuum sealed, Weaver. Oh, probably well past their expiry date. Okay, well, it's not like I'm saying to steal power cells and flip them on the black market. Look, Lou. I need you to try and follow the rules now, you hear? Yeah, whatever, boss. Catch you later, Rook. Blue out. Cutter, I encourage you not to huff any old can of oxygen you find. But if you do, please just monitor your vitals after. Oh, and for God's sake, don't eat anything you find. Anyway, have a good shift. Holler if you need me. Valuable object accepted for processing. Salvage accepted. Credit of 
for processing. Salvage secured. Applying credit.
deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage 
deposit secured. Credits awarded. Valuable object posted. Credits deposited. Morning cutter 9346-52. Well, no, but, well, it's just 
different, I guess. Nothing quite like wrestling a calf. Whoa. That's so cool. Earth doesn't get fresh, it's just the big stuff. Yeah, even on Earth, it's only really for rich people. It was a pretty good job growing up, even if it was hard. But it's not what it used to be. Huh. How so? Uh, Mr. Tucker, the owner, was about as useful as a steering wheel on a mule. No clue how to run a ranch. Was mostly my family keeping things going. But Tucker cut corners. Too much. Raising cattle on Mars is a damn tricky thing. So we ended up struggling just to keep him alive. That sounds fascinating. And also a little sad. So it wasn't pleasant near the end, kiddo.
Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. <laughs>